Welcome back to Iratus, Lord of the Dead, folks. We are in, I think, reasonably okay shape. We have a couple of level threes here that are just getting a bit of a healing attention. Then we have another lich in here. It's only level one. We have an extra bride as well, which is level two and in need of a bit of healing. And that's about it. We do have two bar, two slots unlocked in the library. So Iratus is getting 70 experience per battle. We have two excavation slots unlocked. So we are getting two parts per battle as well. Which does mean that we are looking reasonably okay on parts. And I think actually okay enough that I want to make a better flesh for our bride here. And I also want to give this Dark Knight a brain, so let's give him a brain first. And we will use this one. Serve me well, my minion. For he gets plus three dread and he He uh, lets off the the attack every time uh, an enemy is buffed instead of debuffed over here. Then we have this up here for a bit of extra My armor, enemies are in for which we're going to take as well. Surprise. Okay, so if we go into alchemy here, we need to oh, craft up some work. better flesh. Uh, there we go. And we'll clean up this mess later. This is a legendary flesh. Plus two initiative, plus one block, plus six vigor. That's actually pretty good. So we're going to give that to her to help her out a little bit. And then we are going to go into the dungeon and take a look. So we made it to the dwarf, dwarven mines or dwarf tunnels over here in the last episode, so let's have a look at the dungeon and see which way we want to go. So we have instant healing here if we want. And a steel or steli. Have steli there. Just healing each squad. There's a sacrificial altar. It's a steli there. So if we come up this way, then we can go around this way, I think. And get that altar and that steli as well. So that means that we are going to come up this way, come around this way, come over here, come up this way, and in here, and in. So that's what we're gonna do. I think we could just go this way around as well. I think I like the right option, so let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so we are going into battle against uh, these guys. Our first dwarves. So let's see what they can do. So, what do we have here? Dwarven Warriors. 6 armor, 6 resistance, 12 to 14 damage, 115 health and sanity, and 5 initiative, and a block. Then we have a Berserker, 9 to 11 damage, 112 health, 120 health, sorry, and 200 sanity. A lot of luck, 24 luck. No armor or resistance though, so that's good. Okay. Let's 
wait with you and with you because we want you to go first okay. seven damage that's not too bad both damage I suppose that's okay I don't think these guys will be receiving buffs so I think we'll do hollow stare on them Nice block, nice block. And then we will push you back. Debuff you and push you into the extinction cloud here. And then we will do Hmm. We'll do the screen. Actually, let's buff. Buff everyone. Okay. Push you into the crowd here. The fraction of my two of them insane. We got buff, which moved him very nice. Ow, twenty. That kind of hurts. So they do get buffed, but do we want to go into a stance? I don't think so. I think we'll do the stress attack to everyone and debuff them all for four damage less. We'll give him a hollow stare, turn him insane as well. Very nice. Berserk. Ow. He buffed up and it pushed him into the cloud. Let's put down another cloud here. Okay. And then we can push you. Nice, he died. Don't understand. Okay, he died. A heart attack. Very nice. But we're just down to just the berserker left. Let's do that. And a cloud. If he doesn't die, our knight will heal up a bit. And he gets a heart attack. Very nice. That was Mine perfect. Is the wind. Basically no damage dealt to us. And a level 4 brain. Very nice. Liquid desolation. Need to see what that is. And humanorium token. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. So, our Dark Knight and Lich are healed, 70 experience, and a couple of skulls. Let's take a look at the artifacts here. Iratus gain, gains 10% chance to stun enemies he damages with destruction spells. But we we're not using destruction spells at the moment, so. Enemies have a chance of going insane, I like that. Uh, we're not really using that, so is there something else that's better? Nah. Nah. I... I like this one. Okay. So we have two talents now. Uh, what do we want to use them on? We have all of this. This costs four. Hmm. hmm. Okay. I think we'll save up to move down here and get the surgical practice and then maybe scalpel artist. Yeah. We've got a couple of levels up. Our bride is level four. So what do we give her? I think we give her...
Hmm. I think I'll take worship him here for plus two resistance. Now, prove yourself worthy of my investment. I think that would be good. And then the lich. We will give... I actually like this one, except that it damages ourselves, but other than that, I really like it. It damages the two two random enemies and an ally on first position, where this only damages a random enemy. But with the Dark Knight in the first position at basically all times, he can heal up when he does magic damage and it's also plus 10 accuracy which I also like but I do like this as well the plus 10 health let's get plus 10 health on him for now and then next results. time we'll get this up here I think or maybe some initiative I'm, I'm not really sure we'll see we'll see okay so that's all good. Let's see, can we get something up to, we need eight skulls to get up to, or eight of anything to get up to legendary, so we can't do that right now. So we're gonna have to wait. That's fine. In the graveyard, our Lich and Dark Knight are now healed. And do any of them have items? You do. Plus two resistance. So, and you're fully healed, so why not take you out? And stick you in and get you fully healed as well. Is there anything I want to make? I could actually upgrade now, but I can't make any of those units. I can't make any of those units. So, what I could do is make a skeleton and then build the arena. I think that might be good. But there's a statue praising the necropraiser. Each min minion restores 8 mana. That could be good as well, but I think I'm gonna go with the arena for now. So let's make a skeleton. Uh, I want to make it out of common parts let's not waste mm, the good parts become much sturdier when you strip them and of vital stick him in there and build that so then we can stick you in there to get a bit of training going while the others are in combat okay we're good so let's move on to the Chest here. The minions with at least eight initiative. That's not bad. Ooh, standard of darkness. We're getting that. All minions that took part in the battle restore fifteen percent vigor after the battle. No doubt. This is probably the best artifact in the game. I think. Finally, this item finds its Very way nice. into my capable hands. Very, very nice. Okay, back to the dungeon. And let's go into battle against these guys. Okay. So we have a warrior, a trader, and a couple of berserkers. We're going to wait with you no smoke in our faces and hmm I think you're gonna go into your stance yeah ow Nice, he missed. Okay. You go into your stance as well. And 
you stick down the cloud here. That will take away his ward at least. If nothing else. <sighs> buffed him so he attacked and then we can push you back into the cloud which moves you and he attacks. That's too insane already. That's too insane already. Alright, he got buffed, which moved him, takes away one of the wards, takes away another ward. Very nice. Let's move him about now again. That's gonna leave a mark. Attacks and the cloud attacks. Outstanding. Let's get back into that stance, shall we? That worked out pretty well. You get back into the stance as well. You put down a cloud here. All right. Ow! That hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, so that's... Ow! That's definitely a couple of units that'll be healing. In the next round. Let's... Push you back into the cloud. This will be your end. Nice heart attack. That moves him into the cloud. I love it. And we are at 100, so they're healing up a little bit. Healing up 8. The health every time it's their turn. Let's get back into the stance. Okay, he got a perk. Plus one dread. Not bad. Let's cloud here. Ooh, I hope there will still be nice. enough left to He's, He's buffing, so our stance will which moves him. And our stance will attack as well. Which means he buffs him again. He attacks and he attacks. This is working out very, very well. Very, very well. Moves him, attacks. I love it. This is fantastic. He buffs, so they move. He attacks. Nice. And he should attack as well. Your last. Outstanding. Heart attack for him. I love it. We're down to one berserker left. That almost killed the leech there. But he's alive. He is alive. Let's hope we can kill him. Before it's his turn again. It's his turn now. No, it isn't. Good. Heart attack, please. Oh, no heart attack, but the cloud I'll killed him. Good. That did hurt quite a bit. That did hurt quite a bit, but we got some nice stuff. A brain, four armors, architect souls, smoke bomb, and shackles of war. Nice. Very nice. So we do have the other leech ready for battle, and we do have another bride as well ready for battle, I think. So all is fine. We have a bride in here. She's not fully healed. But he's better off than the other one. So we'll stick her in and heal. Use this one. And I think that's it. We need to make a unit to put in the library. So let's see, did you level up by chance? Yes, you did. Nice. Let's see, what do we want to give you? Mm. He has the debuff thing, which sucks. Should have put that over here on the buff. Mm. 
I think we'll give him plus two initiative. Take yeah, back plus two to initiative. Battle. And stick him back in there. Do some more training. Let's create something. We'll create a skeleton. Yeah, let's create a skeleton. No! Bones, bones, Damn it. Bones. I keep doing that. Just so. Gave him good bones. Plus three you know? Damn it. Okay. Too bad. Let's see, do we have eight of anything? No. We don't. So we won't be upgrading anything right now. We do have two level four brains. Let's give her a level four brain. And... Let's see, what do we want to give her here? We don't want to make them unable to move, so we'll take this one. My enemy for more luck as well. And then I think we'll give her the resistance as well. Serve me well, yeah. my minion. Okay. Very good. So we did get the shackles of war. Enemies cannot become expired. Which it we're definitely going to use. My undead features. That is very, very good. Then we have a smoke bomb. All enemies lose 15 accuracy until the end of combat. We'll use that in an elite battle, I think. Okay. So we'll be going over this way and then come coming back this way. If that's a possibility. Hope it is. I really hope it is. So let's move over to this quest. When the dwarves collapse a section of the underground tunnels in an effort to slow you, you are forced to dig until another way is found. It is here that you make an interesting discovery. In the collapsed, collapsed section of the ca cavern, you come across an array of tables littered with strange runes. Inside are dozens of machines, both mundane and magical, with the look of an experienced abandoned midway. What is more curious is that these devices do not bear the mark of the alchemist's guild. While this discovery is not immediately useful, you wonder what the dwarves are stud were studying here and what caused them to abandon it. Spend time to figure out what, hap what was happening here. This will make you lose the initiative in your advance, okay? Drain the magic. Quick procedure to gain mana. Try to blindly reactivate the experiments. You think you recognize the rune for vitality among those stones. Let's try it. You entrust some skeletons to tinker around with the dwarven machines, hoping for the best. Unfortunately, the mindless and mediocre temper tampering only caused some kind of malfunction that triggered an explosive reaction. Suffice to say, you will not be returning here. Okay. Alright, let's head into battle. Okay, couple of berserkers, the traitor and the warrior. So it's the exact same composition as we had last time. Okay. So you're gonna wait. <coughs> Got buffed. What does that frenzy do? Plus two armor, plus two luck, plus two resistance until the end of combat. That's too bad. We're gonna put down the cloud here. Good. Nice, Good. he died. More material. I didn't think That's it pretty would nice. be this easy. Let's get you into your stance. Let's get you into your stance. And we're gonna push you. Nice. 
terror will overflow. Two of them are already insane. Berserk and Berserk. I think they can only go Berserk, maybe. Alright, back in your stance, please. And push. Nice. You went into a stance. Nevermind, I like takes target damage, removes all debuffs from them, restores 20, insa 20 sanity, and increases initiative by 2 until the end of combat. Okay, you get back in your stance. You stick down a poison cloud. Nice, that actually buffs him. So she takes away his ward, and he attacks as well. The dark. Oh. Outstanding. Ow. Not outstanding. Oh, oh. Open their husks. At least it wasn't the the leech that got hit there. Okay, he buffed him. They moved. One more for the nice. stop. He died from moving into the cloud. He attacks. Brave. Heart attack. Excellent. Fresh corpses. Okay. You. Let's just straighten him out some more. Ah, oh, you missed. But he did have a heart attack. Another step okay. towards my eternal kingdom. So another unit, Humanarian token, uh, level 4 brain again, very nice, couple of hearts, blood, okay, we did take quite a bit of damage, but we have a Lich, so that's not a problem, we'll just swap them, and the rest will actually heal 15% after the combat here, because we have the banner, so we're not as bad off as it looked like. He did some more training. And we can put him in instead of the other one. Though he does have the bad buff thing, which sucks. The bride and the Lich got healed. Some experience and some parts. We didn't get any new artifacts here. We're gonna have to swap you two out. That's okay. The bride is healed. Let's see, is there anything else that needs healing right now? I don't think so. No. I think we will swap you two out. Or actually. We'll stick you in here for a heal. And I think we'll make a new Dark Knight. Can we make him out of something a little bit better? Not really. Because we don't have enough to get up to Legendary, so I don't want to... to waste it. We don't need rags for him. I think we'll make... Uh, Dark Knight here. It's and then we'll give him a level 4 brain. And each time an enemy Get receives a buff, battle. we'll give you your armor. I expect results. And we'll give you make some more dread, or some more initiative. Actually, let's get some more initiative. Now, prove yourself worthy okay. of my investment. So, I'd rather have that Dark Knight than that Dark Knight. Because this Dark Knight has the debuff instead of the buff. So, I think we'll stick this Dark Knight over here for now. And we'll stick you in here and do some training. And that's going to be it. We do have enough architect souls to build something. Let's make 
A blood phantasm? We are much alike, you and I. And revenge is what drives us. We will unlock this. Brick by brick. And stick this Dark Knight in here. So that's 24 wrath that Iratus or Iratus now starts with. So that's pretty good. Okay. So in the next episode, we actually. Let's just go over here and get the stilly and give Gratus some more experience. And then in the next episode, we will continue on in the Dwarven Tunnels. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.